Okay, we've been talking a lot about division story problems, and we talked about grouping and sharing in our previous lesson. And so today what we're going to do is we're going to use our knowledge about grouping, and we're going to create some story problems based on simple, short division expressions. Label a clean page in your math journal with today's date and the heading grouping stories, please. Pause the video if you need. The first problem you're gonna record is six divided by three. I'd like for you to record this problem and also write down a story problem that would show grouping to go along with this equation. Again, you're going to write a story problem, a grouping story problem, to go along with this equation. Please include the answer. I'd like you to pause the video here until you're done with the story problem and press play when you're ready. Okay, hopefully by now you've had your own story problem that you wrote. My problem is Brianna made six cupcakes. She put them in sacks of three to take to the neighbors. How many sacks was she able to make? This is a grouping problem because I already know how many are being shared in each sack. I just need to know how many groups of three she's going to have. Hopefully your problem is reflective of this as well. If not, make modifications now. Okay, I know you might be thinking, this is so easy, why are we doing another problem like this? Well, we're gonna explore what dividing a whole number by a fraction is, and I think the best way to do that is to relate what we already know about the simple equations that you can readily solve. Because I guarantee you'll be able to solve this next equation with no issues but I wanna make sure you understand what it means. So take a look. Okay, here's your next equation. Write down six divided by one half in your math journal. Can you please draw me a picture of what six divided by one half looks like and provide an answer? We're gonna come back and discuss this. Look over your answer, make sure your drawing or your work matches what the problem's asking you, and then you're gonna complete the next activity. And when you're done, or if you finish this before, you can work on a workplace game if someone else is done. Complete student book, page 192, skill review. When you're done, we'll go over it. 